Well, good morning. Uh, I'm Dr. Murray, Principal Brockton Hyde. I'd like to welcome all of you to the Superintendent Awards for our uh, 2021 school year. This is um, one of our favorite uh, moments here at the school where we get to really recognize our four top achievers. And I think it's even uh, more special this year in light of all of the things that they've had to deal with and yet they've maintained their standing uh, academically along with all of the other contributions they make to our school. It's, uh, it's really a tribute not only to them, but to their families who are hopefully joining us here and uh, their teachers and the community as well. So it's a very special uh, day for us, unique to say the least, but nevertheless, extremely important. And again, congratulations to our four superintendent awards winners. I'd like to introduce the superintendent, uh, Michael Thomas. And he's going to say a few opening remarks, and then we will get our ceremony started. Mr. Thomas. Thank you, Dr. Murray. Uh, I want to congratulate Amos, uh, Evelyn, Isabel, and Georgina. Uh, this is an amazing award, a very prestigious award uh, for the Mass Associations of School Superintendents, um, which I'm a member of. Um, unfortunately, I never had the skill to be someone that could receive this award when I was in school, but um, I'm amazed at your hard work, your ability, um, your commitment to your education, your academic excellence. And I want to thank your parents and your family members for their support. Because uh, I know that um, none of us do this alone, uh, especially since last March 12th. Uh, for you to do what you're doing now is simply amazing. And to be able to do that uh, in the middle of this pandemic, um, obviously, you need your support of your, your family and your loved ones. So I thank you, uh, loved ones, family members, parents, aunts, uncles, grandparents, and, and guardians. I, uh, we really appreciate your support of these fine young people, and we look forward to the, the great things they're going to do in the future. Um, I want to introduce Mayor uh, Robert Sullivan, who's going to say a few words. And then after that, we'll have Mr. D'Agostino, the vice chair of the school committee, say a few words to all of you. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Mr. Superintendent. And, and, and I just want to say congratulations to everybody. Uh, this is a really a wonderful, wonderful award. And I want to thank uh, Amos and Evelyn and Georgina and Isabel for all your hard work. I mean, your dedication in the classroom and outside of the classroom is paying off. Um, you know, I uh, am a proud graduate as Mike is of Brockton High School. Uh, I was in the Red Building. Um, but I just want to let you know that we as, um, as as elected officials or administrators in the school system want to just applaud you for all of your dedication. And I say this and I mean this, you know, we're known as the city of champions, but it's, it's you that are the champions uh, and your parents and your guardians and your loved ones and the staff and the teachers and the administrators. But today, the four of you, uh, this is a special day. It's something that you'll remember the rest of your lives. And as the mayor of Brockton, I just want to say thank you. You're the next generation of, of boxer strong. And I applaud you. And I wish each and every one of you and your families a happy and safe holiday season. Thank you, everybody. Well, good morning. Thank you, Superintendent, for giving me a, a, just a minute to comment. And um, uh, like the superintendent, I was not the uh, level of student that would ever have qualified for such an award. Um, so I, I truly am impressed and very proud of all, all of you and what you've accomplished. I know that I can speak for the entire school committee in saying that we're obviously we're very proud of what you've done and and um, you know, we recognize, you know, this is a, a, a lot of work normally, but in um, this remote learning and just everything that's going on with COVID, uh, even more impressive that you've been able to, uh, you know, accomplish this. So um, again, happy holidays to you and your families. And uh, we're, we're uh, you know, I am, and I know the whole school committee is very proud of, of all of you and uh, keep up the good work and uh, enjoy the holiday. Thank you. And th thank you, Mr. D'Agostino. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, uh, also, uh, Dr. Murray, if you allow me, I wanna welcome um, school committee woman from uh, Ward 6. This is a very special morning for her as well. Joyce Azak is with us. Joyce, I think you're there. If you could say a few words for us. Thank you. Um, honestly, just congratulations to all the recipients this morning. Um, it's been a difficult past few months and um, to achieve this level 
we know that you're all dedicated and we wish you the best of luck and we are all so proud of you and we're going to do our best to try to try to make this a, a hopefully the second part of your senior year we're going to do our best to help you and um again we're very proud rockton proud boxer proud and um and congratulate and we my niece is one of the recipients so this is a special morning for our family as well thank you so much everybody so thank you, Dr. Murray. And also, finally, I just want to thank, obviously, your teachers, um, your guidance counselors, um, the deans, the assistant deans are on the call today for their support uh, of these students uh, and you, Dr. Murray. So we appreciate it all. Um, and we look forward to, to um, this ceremony coming up. So I'll stop talking and let you take it away. Thank you, Superintendent. Thank you, Mayor, Mr. Diagostino, Ms. Azak. It's a uh... It's wonderful that you've had a chance to participate. These truly are amazing uh, young men and women, and we are very excited about their accomplishments. It really is a family, and uh, we're all very, very proud of their accomplishments. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce Kathy Ledger. She's the director of coordinator of guidance six to 12, and she's going to kind of fill everybody in and what the requirements are or the description of the award. And uh, I like the mayor and Mr. Diagostino never really was too concerned about these types of things, but it is really an incredible achievement, remarkable under the best of circumstances, which these are not. And again, our hats go off to all four of these students, their families and their support team. So uh, Ms. Ledger, take it away. Thank you very much. I apologize for my ringtone. Uh, my phone just went off. Um, this is a um, certificate of academic excellence and based on the number of seniors we have at Brockton High School, we're able to give four of those certificates out. So a smaller school um, might only have one recipient or possibly two. So let me explain a little bit about the award. Um, as the educational leader in each community, the Massachusetts Association of School Superintendents has designed an award for academic excellence. These awards will be given to high school students who have distinguished themselves in the pursuit of excellence during their high school careers. The criteria is three-year cumulative average, rank and class, and then personal selection by the superintendent. So the top students um, today are receiving this award. Um, this citation can be included in the student's credentialing package or resume going forward as of today. So congratulations to our four seniors here. Um, I'd like to start the program off by introducing um, Mr. Andrew Donovan, the Dean of Green. Well, he, he'll present his awards to his students. Mr. Donovan. Thank you, Ms. Ledger. Welcome families, friends, and most importantly, recipients. Uh, today is um, one of those pleasurable um, ceremonies that we get to celebrate where we take a moment to honor four of Brockton High School's best and brightest. <clears throat> uh, the first of Green Building's two, I might say two, thank you, uh, recipients is Miss Isabel Stacco. <clears throat> Excuse me. Isabel is an extremely humble student despite being ranked number one in the senior class with a 4.969 GPA. Uh, let me put that GPA into simple terms uh, for everyone out there. Isabel has earned straight A pluses in every class she's had with the exception of one lousy A. Uh, truly amazing job, Isabel. <clears throat> Excuse me. Isabella is a tenacious, dedicated analytical student who is enrolled in the rigorous full international baccalaureate diploma program at Brockton High School. Outside of the classroom, Isabel has many diverse interests and has also pushed herself out of her comfort zone and excelled in many of those endeavors in the process. <clears throat> she started her own organization called Lab Coats Unite in order to share her knowledge of finding and earning internships with other interested students. Isabel has decided to take on podcaster Joe Rogan by starting her own podcast, where she discusses a variety of her own personal interests. <clears throat> Isabel also plays bassoon and trumpet with the advanced concert band, as well as with the marching band and wind ensemble. She's been a member of the executive committee as well as a peer tutor and freshman mentor. 
Outside of school, Isabel was the lead student ambassador working with the Charity Guild, where she helped fundraise for the Brockton Food Pantry. Awesome. Isabel's guidance counselor, Ms. Ortiz, is particularly proud of Isabel's internship experience, which includes experiences with the Harvard University Dana-Farber Cure Program, as well as the Broad Summer Scholars Program. <coughs> Uh, Isabel is the winner of the QuestBridge Scholarship, and because of that, with that, she has earned a full-ride, four-year scholarship to attend one of the most prestigious Ivy League schools in the country, that being Yale University, where she plans on pursuing a career as a biomedical researcher. Very timely. Uh, please join me in congratulating Isabel Stacco as the first recipient of this year's Superintendent's Award. Great job, Isabel. The second of the Green Building's two recipients of the Superintendent's Award is Miss Georgina Yunus. Georgina is currently ranked fourth out of the whole senior class with an impressive 4.886 GPA. Georgina is also enrolled in the full International Baccalaureate Program at Brockton High School, where she takes the most challenging courses our district has to offer. In addition, Georgina has pushed herself even more by participating in dual enrollment college courses through Massasoit Community College for both business and sociology. <clears throat> Georgina has an amazing blend of intelligence, kindness, and maturity, which she credits to her parents, as well as her older sister and Greenhouse alum, Alex, who is a sophomore at Boston College. Georgina has always, is always very busy with extracurricular activities including playing first flute for the advanced concert band, twirling for the Brockton majorettes, participating in clubs at the high school, helping out at her church, and attending summer programs through Harvard University, including the Harvard Summer Business Academy. One of Georgina's passions is dance. She's been dancing with Guotis, excuse me if I didn't get that right, dance school, for nearly 15 years and is now a captain at the school. Georgina and her counselor, Ms. Ortiz, are particularly proud of her work and dedication to the Brockton, model Brockton City Council, which she co-founded with her sister, Alex, a few years ago. Georgina has the honor of being the student representative for the Brockton School Committee. Although she does admit those meetings can sometimes be a bit long in the tooth. No offense, Superintendent Thomas, Auntie ASAC. Although already accepted to Providence College in their honors program, Georgina is targeting UPenn, USC, and NYU as her top choices to attend college, where she plans on tackling a career in business. Please join me in congratulating Georgina Eunice as a recipient of the Superintendent's Award. Great job, ladies. At this time, I would like to introduce Ms. Carolyn Kopp, the Dean of the Red House, where she will introduce her recipient. Good morning, everyone. That is a tough act to follow, but I know the student from the Red House is able to do that um, with no problem. So I would like to take this uh, moment to um, introduce everyone here to Amos Darius, who is on the call with, I think, his mother. Um, and I would like to say that um, I'm very proud to be the Dean of the Red Building and have Amos in the Red House. And I know Ms. Thompson, who's on the call, might cry during this, um, this award ceremony because she too has um, worked very hard with Amos to make sure that he got to the point that he is at today. So I'd like to say a few nice words about Amos. Amos Darius, or famous Amos, as he is affectionately called, is a kind-hearted, hardworking young man with a heart of gold. He has immersed himself in his studies and has persevered through all challenges, rising to the top with dignity and grace. Intellectually gifted in all subjects, Amos has chose, chosen to challenge himself with a rigorous full IB program in which he has excelled with a current GPA of a 4.9. Amos has been an active participant in our school community as the co-president of the Latin Club, a peer tutor, and a participant in the medical club. 
Amos has been inducted into the National Honor Society as well as the Foreign Language Society. Most recent, recent accomplishments for Amos include the John and Abigail Adams Scholarship. Outside of school, Amos is a mentor and sings in the choir at his local place of worship. Amos would like to attend Harvard University as a biology major and eventually pursue a career in medicine. When asked what are the most what are you the most proud of? Amos answered, I am thankful for my academic success, but I am even more thankful to have friends, family, and a school community that supports and motivates me. It's my pleasure to congratulate Amos Darius and his family uh, for this unbelievable achievement. Congratulations, Amos. At this time, I would like to introduce Ms. Elaine Alves, who is the Dean of the Azure Building. Mr. Super, I think we're having an issue with uh, Ms. Alves. All right, let me quickly text Ms. Alves. She may have to re reboot her computer, but yeah, let's... her sounds muted. Yep. Yeah, and she's not muted. I... Thank heavens for cell phone superintendent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I only think, have one. I think she's trying to uh, log back yeah. on. Yeah, she'll try to log back in. I just went down the hall and got Miss L. She's here. <laughs> oh, okay. I was just going to say she could shoot into Mr. Hearn's office. Hello, Miss L. Hello, guys, everyone. <laughs> Hi. Technology. I know. Uh, thank you, Mrs. Kopp. Uh, this year's Superintendent's Award recipient from the Azure House is Miss Evelyn Murphy. As a studious and dedicated young lady, Evelyn is actively engaged in her education. While at Brockton High School, she has carefully selected her academic programming while maintaining her goal of attending a competitive four-year university. When choosing her academic courses each year, she has welcomed academic challenges as measured by her schedule consisting of all honors courses in grade nine, followed by honors courses in the AP uh, course in grade 10, and is currently in her second year of IB Biology and IB English. Evelyn's exceptional grades in all of her courses have consistently earned her highest honor roll status. Evelyn's excellent academic performances and her leadership skills have secured her membership in the National Honor Society. In addition to her commitment to her studies, Evelyn's admirable time management skills allow her to balance her demanding academic load while still contributing to her school and local community through her membership in student government, band, technician and drama club and volunteerism at her place of worship. Evelyn has applied to Gordon, Wheaton, Yale, and Harvard to name a few. Her guidance counselor, Dr. McNeil Pleasant stated, these institutions would be greatly served to have her as one of their own. Congratulations, Evelyn. We are so proud of you. Go Azure. And now I will hand it over. I will hand it over to Dr. Murray for closing remarks. Thank you, Ms. Elves. And uh, just to acknowledge that Mr. Ahern and Ms. Baker are here. However, we did not have any award winners from the Yellow House. Uh, they did have two students go to Harvard last year, so 
it's it's not uh, anything personal. I want to congratulate the recipients and their families again. Not only are these amazing young people completely immersed in their academics, but as noted by the comments from the deans, also huge contributors to our school community and the community at large. And these are the kinds of kids that Brockton High sees and works with every day. So once again, uh, I would like to congratulate all four of these students on a job well done. This kind of sets the bar high for you. It raises expectations as you go forward, but we know that you can handle it. And we also know that you will make us all proud as you already have in your future endeavors. Once again, to the families, congratulations. I would love to offer you some refreshments in the choral room. Unfortunately, the superintendent is a stickler. The mayor is here. We can't have any large social gathering. So my apologies. But once again, it does not diminish in any way, shape or form the amazing young people that you are. We look forward to hearing about your success in the future. Thank you and congratulations again. Thank you all and have a wonderful holiday season with your loved ones. We appreciate everyone being here today. Thank you. Thank you.